Hello guys and welcome to a new crypto video of the most beautiful music instrument there is, the crypto violin. Guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Today I am back with some amazing content and I want to warn you all because we are almost there guys. We will see massive gains. I'm telling you massive gains and we'll be all visiting the Lambo dealer guys. Okay. And why am I thinking this? We had some bullish news come out today and I want to warn you also for something else going on. So I hope you're ready. Um, we're gonna talk about Gary Gensler's nomination hearing as the SEC's chief, why it is a positive signal for Ripple and the lawsuit. Then we're gonna talk about Kevin O'Leary, the millionaire billionaire investor, what his take is on Bitcoin and also Mark Cuban, we all know him, the billionaire, who's explaining us what he thinks about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general, guys. And afterwards, we're gonna look at some bull signals. So I hope you're ready. Before we dive into juicy bullish content, I want to kindly remind you to subscribe to my beautiful crypto violin channel. We are at 15.5K subscribers. Guys, let's go to the 100K. That's my goal for the end of the year. 100K, guys, this is possible. I know it, guys. I'm visualizing it. Law of attraction, guys. 100 dollar xrp and 100k subs let's go let's do this one last thing guys if you want to come to the comment section beware of the motherless honorless scammers guys they're answering you guys in the comment section and you know what uh, let me open some of them you can see it very clearly for example here this guy crypto violin do well to correspondence for my assistance blah 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 this is bull crap guys bs don't answer this i want to report this Report this poor piece of junk. Look at this, Crypto Violin. This is the real deal, guys. I have a gray highlight of my name. That's the real bullishness. Give a like to my own comment. That's it, guys. This is also, I tried to delete them all, guys. We need to watch out. Why worry about cryptocurrency with an algorithm? No, BS, guys. Watch out for this craziness. Don't believe in this. Hide user from channel. I am. <laughs> I'm at least spending 15, 20 minutes of my life every day of cleaning up my comment section and I hope you can help me out because let's keep this clean. Let's get those dirty rats out of the comment section. Without further ado, let's dive into the juicy and bullish content I have for you today. So first of all guys, Nomination hearing of Gary Gensler as SEC chief is a positive signal for Ripple. Post on March the 2nd, 2021, this article is from CryptoNewsFlash.com. Gary Gensler will state in his confirmation hearing as the new SEC chairman that financial markets can benefit from novel financial instruments. For Ripple and XRP investors, the speech seems to be a glimmer of hope as Gensler wants to quickly remove legal uncertainty. After a long wait, the time has finally come. Gary Gensler is set to appear for his highly anticipated nomination hearing today, March the 2nd, to confirm his nomination to be the next chairman of the US Security and Exchange Commission, SEC, before the US Senate Banking Committee. Okay, and this already happened, guys. I watched it live and it was a juicy live stream, guys. I watched it all, uh, okay, two hours, two and a half hours, uh, somewhere I fell asleep, but it was very nice. They didn't mention it exactly, but they mentioned it, Ripple, XRP, guys. I am bullish as always and positive that this will be solved and settled in a matter of weeks, months, max months, a couple months, three, four, five maximum, guys, okay? Uh, Gary needs to sit in his chair, relax a little bit, get his morning coffee, uh, get settled, and then he can settle this thing for once and for good, and we will finally be able to visit the Rolex star. Come on, guys, finally. Okay, let's read further. For Ripple, this comes at a time when the company is facing a high-profile lawsuit from the SEC. In a recent joint statement with the SEC, Ripple said it was unable to reach a settlement agreement with the previous SEC administration led by Jay Clayton. At the same time, however, Ripple Labs gave XRP investors hope for a quick settlement with the SEC by holding out the prospect of new talks with Gary Gensler once he takes over the agency's regains. Brett Garlinghouse tweeted the following. On January the 18th, 2021, guys. Congrats to Gary Gensler. We are ready to work with the SEC's leadership and the broader Biden administration to chart a path forward for blockchain and crypto innovation in the US. 
Okay, but Mr. Garlinghouse, one thing Gary Gensler doesn't have Twitter, so you can uh, congratulate him, but maybe send an email. And then Rob Art, one of my favorite uh, XRP hodlers, commented by saying, go the whole nine yards, my dude, make it count. And then this picture, guys, I'm not gonna <laughs> read it, but it's funny. Okay, I also commented, very nice, guys. Make it count, Brad Garlinghouse, let's solve this matter. Talk with your boy Gary Gensler and solve this matter. Come on, okay? That being said, let's read further. Gensler's speech raised hope for Ripple. The hearing document, which was pre-released yesterday, could be another glimmer of hope that Gensler is receptive to a quick resolution of the Ripple litigation and related legal uncertainty for cryptocurrencies in the United States. While Gensler does not directly mention cryptocurrencies, let alone XRP and Ripple, in the opening statement, he does allude to them. Gensler will explain today the financial markets are undergoing a transformation and can benefit from emerging technologies. We cannot take any of this for granted. Market and technologies are always changing. Our rules have to change along with them. In my current role as a professor at MIT, I research and teach on the intersection of technology and finance. I believe financial technology can be a powerful force for good, but only if we continue to harness the core values of the SEC in service of investors, issuers, and the public. So he doesn't say, you know what, we are supposed to protect the investors, but we are slapping a lawsuit that makes sure that ordinary investors and innocent investors lose billions of dollars, guys. And we don't want to have regulatory clarity and we are not going to give frameworks. That's not, that's not what he's saying. He's saying the opposite, guys. This is bullish. Okay. Jay Clayton was not saying this. He told, you know what? We are here for the ordinary investor, but you know what? We are not here for the ordinary investor because we are gonna slap a lawsuit. And you know what happened? All of the rich people that already earned millions and millions in the end of the year could write off a loss because their XRP holdings went down. They could write off a loss at the taxes and now it's already up. So they don't have to pay taxes. Guys, it is, it is, it's a perfect plan just to make the rich richer and for the ordinary investor to lose all of their money, guys. I think it's very fishy here, but let's read further. Gensler will also point out that Congress created the SEC to protect investors, to maintain fair, orderly and efficient markets and to facilitate capital formations. This, however, requires clear rules for novel financial instruments clear rules okay otherwise people will suffer as the new sc chairman will elaborate it's anyone's guess whether this is an allusion to the massive losses for xrp investors after the sec lawsuit was filed gensler will say in the decades since we have seen that when the sc does its job when there are clear rules on the road and a cop on the beat to enforce them our economy grows and our nation prospers. But when we take our eyes off the ball, when we fail to root out wrongdoing or to adapt to new technologies or to really understand novel financial instruments, <clears throat> Ripple, things can go very wrong. And when that happens, people get hurt. Okay, guys. Okay, let that sink in. That's a lot of bullishness in one article, guys. And you know what? Of course you feel like selling. When you are scared and the market is selling off and XRP falls from 70, 80 cents to 15, 14 cents, then you are scared. Of course, you're thinking, oh no, it's going to zero. I need to sell. Lots of people sold, okay? Lots of people sold or got liquidated. And that's what the rich want you to believe, guys, okay? They want you to sell there. They want you to buy at the top and to sell when it's low. I will show you an example and prove me wrong, guys. Tell me I'm wrong. Let's watch this. Kevin O'Leary flips on Bitcoin saying he's buying Bitcoin after crypto game changer. Okay, investor and TV personality Kevin O'Leary is revealing that he has warmed up to Bitcoin and now holds 3% of his portfolio Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest crypto assets by market cap. In a CMEC interview, the Shark Tank panelist discloses that he has grown fascinated by cryptocurrencies. 
He predicts that digital currencies are here to stay and it's considered going beyond just buying crypto assets and holding them. I have started to think about how do I invest in the infrastructure of mining Bitcoin? What? Wait, what? Why would you mine Bitcoin, bro? That's not green. Uh, that's not sustainable. Why not just buy, buy Bitcoin or buy XRP better? The Shark Tank star confesses that the volatility of cryptocurrencies remains a problem, but is hopeful that institutional investors have the stomach for wild swings. Okay, guys, look, you know what? I'm going to show you something. This is Kevin O'Leary one and a half year ago, one year ago. Listen to this guy. Again, it's just supply and demand. If you have a scarce asset and demand increases, Let's Mr. Wonderful thinks it's worthless. Well, I, I, call it garbage I, I want to explore the idea. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> I want to explore the idea that there is nothing here except raw speculation. No different than when I go to Las Vegas and put my money on black or red on a roulette wheel because. Okay, so he's comparing Bitcoin to garbage and saying that it is no better than going to a roulette table and playing black or red. By the way, that's not that's not the way to play roulette, guys. You have to pick numbers, and uh, I have certain numbers that I sometimes play, but I'm not going into this. This guy clearly doesn't know how to play roulette, and also not how to invest in Bitcoin. You see here the price of Bitcoin, 8,000 USD, okay, 8,000, and he's bashing it. Where is the intrinsic value inherent in deploying real capital, let's talk real money here, and putting it into Bitcoin as a storage of value? I get gold for 2,000 years, including the Romans. They saw value in, in, in owning that as an asset class. Tell me why this, which is basically a digital um, game. A digital has, game? Has any what? Value. Bro. When people Did actually put it? real money into this, they make no interest. They can't pay their taxes with it. The regulators don't like it, which is always a problem for compliance. And where's the long-term value? Just this this idea that they're going to cut the number of units in half? That's such a scam. <laughs> like, that's just totally BS. So okay, it's a scam. It's totally BS. Okay, it's, it's a game. Bitcoin is not a game. I'm just about to go and play some Warzone. That's a game, but Bitcoin is not a game. Okay, and you know, at the end, what he's saying, he's really spitting on Pompliano here. You would think that if, if it's all boats would rise in this tide of crypto. So for your portfolio, here's the number one thing I can tell you as to why you should own Bitcoin. It's a non-correlated asymmetric return asset that the value drivers of all of your equities, everything else is tied to earnings, GDP, interest rates, right. etc. Because the Bitcoin is not tied to anything. Well, neither is U.S. dollars, and how big is your cash position? You know, I, I, I look, I love your optimistic view of it. You haven't changed my mind at all. It's still <laughs> garbage, and I'm not going to take real money and put it into this thing. It's never going to happen. I mean, imagine <laughs> real money, taking real dollars that I'm making in cash, 2.1% on, and putting it into crypto right. crap. I agree to disagree. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so you're crypto crap garbage. Garbage is better than garbage. <laughs> garbage. Okay. Garbage. And you know what? This guy didn't want to buy garbage at $8,000. And right, so he okay. wants to buy garbage, the garbage, uh, for uh, $50,000. So he pays uh, almost uh, five times more uh, money for the same garbage just to own garbage because he thinks that garbage is going to up, go up more. And he thinks that this garbage is in the end a good investment. Well, guys, he is crazy. Okay, I love him. I watch him. He is amazing, amazing investor. But here, he is clearly not seeing it right. And you know what? To tell the ordinary investor, it's garbage. It's uh, sorry. It's garbage, and don't buy it. Watch out. It's crazy. It's a scheme. At eight thousand and at fifty thousand, you need to buy. No. This is the problem, guys. Lots of people will buy. There was a guy the other day. He said, "Yeah, we need to buy. It's it's going Bitcoin. Whoa, 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 bro, 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 bro. It's it's past double, almost triple all-time highs. What are you What are you doing, bro? Buy the suppressed asset. What are you doing, man? Come on. Are, are we? Is the whole world on fire? Don't you understand that you have to buy the suppressed asset?"
and not buy the asset that's at all time high and then cry if we enter a three year bear market where you lost 99% of your money and then saying, yeah, it's all a scam. Wake up, bro. If you want to make money, you have to be smart. You know, I, I don't feel like, I don't feel like buying something at all time highs. That's crazy. Okay, another one. Mark Cuban, Ethereum will disrupt the F out of big software companies. Cuban says smart contracts will change the game for SAAS, for software companies, insurance claims and banking. And he's looking forward to it. Okay. He talked up DeFi in Ask Me Anything on Reddit Wall Street Bets forum. He argued about the price of Bitcoin on Twitter with Tyler Winklevoss, had a virtual fireside chat with Binance CEO Sengpeng Cao, and he tweeted about his frenzied collecting of NFTs, non-fungible tokens, on its platform. Bro, you know what? Look at him. Look at Mark Cuban here. He's telling us all that he would rather have bananas than Bitcoin and he thinks you can better gamble it all away than put it in Bitcoin. Let's watch it. Crypto Doom, if you're really into providing opportunity for people to grow their net worth, why the hate for crypto? ICO is the new IPO. Here's the thing about crypto, particularly Bitcoin. Bitcoin is worth what somebody will pay for. Did you ever see someone who collected baseball cards and they were really, really, really proud of their baseball cards because they kept on saying they were going to go up in price? Comic books, same thing, even artwork. There's no real intrinsic value. You can't eat a baseball card or shouldn't eat a baseball card. Your artwork might look good on the wall, but not much you can do with it. Bitcoin, there's even less you can do with it. At least I can look at my baseball card and go, oh, that's my favorite player. That's Roberto Clemente. I can look at artwork and go, wow. Crypto is a key that is so complicated for 99% of the population. Do you put it in a device? Do you print it out? How do you keep from being hacked? Who's going to host it for you? It's just so difficult that it's only worth what somebody will pay for it. So I say it's like gold. Gold's a religion. Now, people who are really into gold, they'll tell you that there's a bad depression and things go to hell in a handbasket. If you own gold, then you'll be okay. No, you won't. You carry around a gold bar, someone's gonna hit your ass, knock you out and steal your gold bar, and it's gonna happen again and again and again. I'd rather have bananas. I can eat bananas. What? You'd rather have bananas? Bro, I will give you bananas. Give me your gold. Give me your Bitcoin. Give me your crypto. I will give you bananas. Maybe you're talking the same things now? No, you're not talking the same things now. You are buying up cryptos now in 2021. But in 2019, September 2019, you are bashing crypto. You are saying I would rather have bananas or just worthless cash sitting on my desk. It's crazy, guys. Okay, it's crazy. I want you to realize this. I want you to realize this, man. This is not normal. I get overexcited, man. It, it, this this crap gives me COVID, man. Really, this is really from another planet. Okay, um, back to XRP USD pair on Binance. We see on the three hourly, we got some very bullishness for XRP coming. Okay, buy for and a bull signal. The previous buy for and bull signal called 182% rise. And then we got again a buy for and a bull signal here and we went up 35%. The last buy and bull signal, we were not so lucky. We had a minus, minus 9% before the robo took us out of the position. And now again, the robo is bullish and I think at least we can see a 30, 40% guys, at least. Really, come on, I think this can happen. And then, of course, we have to watch out. If we break above this, we can see the magical, the juicy $1. Guys, I'm telling you, $1. And if we hit $1, then we will see some magic happen, guys. We will see some magic. So this symmetrical triangle, if you break to the upside, then we see some bullishness. If we break to the downside, then we have to watch out guys but if we look at the two-day chart uh, on a bigger time frame we can see that we are still having the bull and the buy four signal we didn't got the sell signals and if we open other signals here yeah 
we have some bullish signals. Look at all those, all the possible bullish signals. We got them here. So from here, we will move to the $1 guys. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and I will come back to this video and I tell you again, guys, when we hit this, okay? That's it for now. Guys, I know you're listening. I know you're smiling because finally we will go to $1 and then new all time highs, new all time highs, guys. And then we will go to new all time Lambos, guys, a Lambo. I think I will buy a Lambo or a G-Wagon or maybe the new Tesla with 1100 horsepower, crazy. But we have some days to sleep, guys. It feels like it's Christmas already, but we have to be patient. Hold our cryptos very tight. Hold on because we will have an amazing ride. I hope to see you next Juicy and Bullish video. Please subscribe to my beautiful crypto violin channel. Don't forget to like if you like content provided and comment in the comment section if you have questions. Beware of the scammers. Watch out for them, don't write them. Report them immediately. And guys, as always, I wish you an amazing day and see you in the next Juicy and Bullish video. Bye-bye.